Welcome back, 3D artists. Today we're gonna dive into one of the most important aspects of creating immersive environments, foliage. Adding grass and trees to your landscape can be a daunting task, but with the right tools and techniques, it can be a breeze. In this video, we'll be sharing some tips on how to add grass quickly and efficiently using both the paint and fill tools. We'll also be discussing the importance of density and scale and how to customize and optimize your foliage to achieve the perfect look. So sit tight and get ready to take your environments to the next level. So in order to get rid of the existence grass, I will change the select mode to the foliage mode. And let's just do that. And here I am going to use the erase tool to remove the existence grass. Let's just increase the brush size and that's all and now let's delete these three grass meshes and all right now we are in the first place let's just go to the quicksil bridge and i want to show you the grasses that i've downloaded from the 3d plants category let's roll out roll down and here they are so and I have used them in my project. Let me find them in the content browser. And yeah, they're right here. And what you need to do is to select these three meshes and just drop them to the foliage tab. And now what we need to do is to change the tab to the paint. And here we have some brush options like brush size and density and erase density and so forth. And as you can see, if I'm going to click on the landscape that I want to create the grass, and here I have my grass, okay? You can control the brush size, you can control the density and the erase density from the brush options. But here we have some problems. Let me increase the density and decrease the brush size. And you can see that we can add grass to our landscape like piece of a cake. But we can have more control on our meshes by clicking on one of them. You can see that here we have some details, a bunch of them in this area. And if I'm going to increase this area, you can see that we have so many options and parameters that we can control our meshes like density and scale. But this density is different with the brush options density. The brush options density control the whole foliage, but this one control the individual meshes. So if I'm going to increase the density of these three meshes that I'm using in the foliage, and let's add them to the landscape, and you can see that we have an intense grass area in our landscape, and this is really, really cool. But I think we have some problems with the size of the grasses and meshes. And they look a little bit tall. And let's just control Z and undo the adding grasses. And I'm going to erase them. And let's control the variety of the meshes and size of them. Just make sure that you have set the scale to the uniform. And I'm going to set the minimum size to 0 0.4 and the maximum size to 0 0.6. And let's add the grass. And here you can see we have much more natural and professional and good looking grass in our scene, maybe 0 0.2 to 0 0.5 would give us better results. And yes, that is really, really natural and cool. But before we continue, just make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel by doing so. You'll be joining a community of artists and developers who are passionate about pushing the boundaries of game design and architectural visualization. All right, let's continue. Now what I'm going to do is to increase the density to something like 1,500 and yeah, but maybe... 2,500 would be better. Yes, it is, but not exactly the perfect one. And I think 5,000 would be 
perfect. So let's set the density of meshes to 5,000. And after that, let's decrease the brush size a little bit and let's add some grasses to our landscape. It's too easy, I know that, but sometimes we have some problems. We have some borders and landscapes or surfaces, let's say, that we don't want to have grass on them. And this place is something like that. So what we want to do or what we need to do, actually, there is a better way to handle this problem and a really, really quick way. And that is the fill tab. This option is a game changer and really quick. So after that, I'm going to select these three meshes and with all the options which have been set, I am going to just click on this landscape and boom, we have our whole landscape that we want to fill with grass. And we did that with just one click and let's change the camera to some yeah let's change it and you can see that we have our grass landscape and we created that with just one click and very very quick and easily just let me place the camera to some angle like this and yeah that looks perfect let's set the focus and let's increase the aperture to have Let's step the field and I'm going to change the sun angle to get better results and lighting effect. And yeah, that's like perfect. That looks stunning. So that was all for this video. I hope you enjoyed and I think it would be useful to you if you're going to create some natural environment, landscape and scenes in your Unreal Engine 5 project. Take care of yourself. See you in the next videos.